Usually, when I make a video, there's some enjoyment to be had in the making of that video. Even if I go off on a rant where I'm obviously annoyed at something, there's at least like a, a cathartic side to it. With this video, there's like no enjoyment to be had at all. There's none of that. At the beginning of 2021, I was doing really f***ing well. I was getting good views on YouTube, I was collaborating with all kinds of cool people, I and I, I was partying a lot. <laughs> you can probably tell what I need socially is not, you know, to just go out, get high, get drunk, and party. What, what I need is to do that on occasion if that's, like, what I actually want to do in that moment. The problem is that, like, attending them too often and not seeking out friendships outside of that leaves you feeling really empty. Beginning of 2021, doing really well, partying it up within, you know, the limitations of being, like, a Z-list easily. But, I, you know, I was enjoying myself, having fun. So I thought, whenever I would leave these parties, I would get this, like, feeling of just lonesomeness. Like, I, I would just be lonely and sad and not feel like anyone really understood me. And it's because, like, nobody did. Because, like, I, I wasn't finding that type of connection. And so I just, I fell into this pit of despair. I, I disconnected myself socially. I stopped maintaining my YouTube channel. I would occasionally like tweet something just to kind of like remind people that I'm, you know, I, I'm not dead, I still exist, hello. Cause that's, you know, that's a death sentence on YouTube. It's just inactivity, which is unfortunately what I did. I didn't upload anything for four months, at least. Ad revenue f***ing tanked, views dropped. So as a result of that, I fell behind on rent. I couldn't pay my f***ing rent. And, and what I did, it was like, you know, okay, I'm, I'm gonna pay this long overdue bill, and now, you know, I'm, I'm a little less f than before. I've actually made friends in this town. Like, I know people that I, I meet almost daily now. People who care about me, people who understand me as a person, the people that I care deeply about, and, and I'd like to think that I understand. So I feel better, because, like, I actually, like, I have real friends now, and I've, I've started talking to my uh, parents more. You know, we're not on super good terms, it's still kinda awkward, but, you know, like, I'm, I'm talking to my family more, I have new friends, as far as, like, my economy goes, like, I'm just, I'm f***ed, my income has been slashed in half, at the very least, probably more, and so, like, I, I've started applying for jobs, cause I'm like, okay, well, I need structure, at, at least, even setting aside the income problem, I, I feel like what I need is to, like, have a job that I can attend daily, and then on the weekends I take some time off and I'll make a couple of videos, or something like that. I could still maintain the upload schedule that I have all around, just a huge improvement, so let's do that. Well, the problem is it takes quite a lot of time to do that, uh, and I just started applying for jobs. And I'm not being picky when it comes to, like, what jobs I'm, uh, I'm applying to either. Uh, some stuff that pertains to my education, but, you know, most of it is, like, I don't know, it's, it's all over the place. Actually, today, like, I applied for a, a job that would, that could, in some instances, involve me, like, scraping up dead bodies at a car accident, and shit like that. Like, I'm not being really selective at all, and I'm hoping that I can find something. In the meantime, I have also applied for a, I guess you would call it social security. I, I don't know, I'm Swedish. Uh, but it's basically like the government supplementing your income. Hey, what the fuck is this? In the meantime, I owe about $500 in rent. It's rough, it's really bad. Uh, it, it's to the extent that any f***ing day now, somebody could come and knock on my door and be like, hey, get lost. And I, you know, I'd be lying. If I said that I'm not scared, because I am. I don't. I don't have any any place that I could go to really. At most, I could find like a relative that I could crash with for like a couple of weeks. Hey, not, like, a what the fuck is this? For, like, you know, seeking 24-year-old male, unemployed, homeless. We we want you. Get over here. Here's here's your free bedroom, sir. Nobody gives a f about like some random 24-year-old male. So I'm I'm boned, really. Here's what I have in mind though. And this is not my proudest moment on YouTube. It could arguably be my lowest point in my YouTube career, but I could really use your help. There's a link down below to my Streamlabs page. Um if you want to attach a attach a message. I don't know why that's a tongue twister. Attach a mess. Whatever, f*** it. If you want to attach a message, you can do so. Streamlabs, down below. I'm also going to be going live on this channel later.
There are many different signs of drug abuse, some more common than others. Dilation of the pupil, the black circle found at the center of each eye, is one of the most common signs of drug abuse. Dilation occurs when the drug causes the pupils to expand and allow more light in. It can be uncomfortable and overwhelmingly bright to the user. Some common drugs that cause this to occur are LSD, cocaine, ecstasy, amphetamines, MDMA, psilocybin, Adderall, Ritalin, and even Xanax. I know this is going to be a highly divisive video for my audience because like many people on YouTube, like many content creators on here, um, I have an audience that spans all across the political spectrum. And that being the case, I know a lot of you saw the title of this video, clicked on it, and now you're just kind of like, the f politics in my video games re even though we're talking about grand theft auto a highly political game which consists of social commentary left and right at like all times but hey whatever initially this video was going to consist of me comparing lgbtq plus representation in games by rockstar way back then versus now you know just to kind of like highlight how it's, it's maturing and it's actually getting better and better i don't mean better in the sense that you know there, there's like less you know crude jokes i mean better in the sense that there's depth to a lot of the characters now they're not just like limp-wristed horny gay guys who are just like hi i mean like that occasionally pops up in in, you know, like the Ballad of Gay Tony, but even a character like Gay Tony has a bit more to him than being a walking punchline. I wish I could say the same for trans people in GTA 5, but upon doing research for this video, I found that there's really no good representation at all. It's all bad. And I mean, it's all bad. All of it. Every single even reference to trans people uh, amounts to little more than like, ha ha ha, man in dress. I say, Carruthers, you know what's very, very funny? A man dressed in women's clothing. Mm, yes, quite ripping good love. Yeah. Hello, sir, or I mean, madam, or whatever. That's an actual line by Michael DeSanta, by the way. Fun fact, at least two of the three main protagonists in GTA V intentionally misgender transgender pedestrians. And I assume that these pedestrians are trans because they're being misgendered, they're being called mid op they're being told to take more hormones. You know, it's kind of obvious what's being implied there. Hello, sir. I mean, madam. I mean, whatever. Well, hello, mid op. Hey, you need to keep taking your hormones. You might need a few more ops, dog. Almost fool me, bro. Almost. You also have stuff like a casual tea slur being used in the game in one of the ads. Like, hey, this tea slur is watching you take a sh. Ka ka poo poo pee pee, tea slur, ha ha. The thing that upset me is not just the fact that they made fun of trans people, because I mean like, you know, Rockstar is an equal offender. They make fun of all aspects of our culture and social life. So really, it should be fair game, right? You know, that, that should be the case. They make fun of all of us. Hey, what the fuck is this? <laughs> 